Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area. Wanted to give you an update today on what's going on. And I'm actually starting on the wrong slide. I wanted to show this one first. So we got the incoming storm. Um, it's going to be kind of a two-parter. Got that front coming in. The front's going to pave the highway for moisture, that subtropical tap coming in here. And we're going to have high, uh, moderate impacts of rain and wind across the Santa Cruz Mountains and down across the Big Sur area and then every place else around the Bay Area is really going to be kind of minor impacts, a little bit less rain than what we're going to see south and a little bit less wind. But we'll get to all the details here in just a moment. So first things first, satellite image today. Remember yesterday's video, we saw this front up here. It has slid south as forecast, thankfully. And so it's sliding into our area today. And eventually tomorrow it will set up shop and stall right around Santa Cruz-ish and it'll tap into all of this moisture here and bring that moisture into the region. So if we look at the storm totals, again, this is the storm total. So this is like tomorrow through Tuesday, how much rain is gonna fall across the area. Up in North Bay, we're looking at two to three, three to four inches, depending upon exactly where you're at. Maybe out in the coastal range, you'll see like uh, four inches, maybe five inches storm total, depending upon how things pan out with showers. But really kind of, the, the, big, uh, the big rainfalls are going to be down in Monterey and Santa Cruz County, even up in the San Mateo County. So we're looking at probably about six to eight inches. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an isolated total of 10 inches up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, down in the Santa Lucias outside of Big Sur. Those are going to be more up in the eight to 10 inch range, and we could see an isolated total of up to 12 inches. So lots of rainfall occurring here. We'll have localized flooding a lot of places. And so if you're driving around, make sure that you don't drive through uh, flooded roads. And if there's debris over the road, don't try to drive through that debris because honestly, it's going to be a big sloppy mess. And all you're going to do is get stuck and get first responders helping you as opposed to helping people who actually really need the help. Not that you don't need the help when you're stuck, but you're not high priority in all likelihood. So in terms of wind, the system's going to bring a lot of wind. North Bay and a little bit of East Bay, maybe not so much, but we're still going to gust up into the 30s. Right where that boundary sets up around here someplace, and where it stalls, that's where the peak of the wind is going to happen. It's going to come out of the south and be sliding up the coast. So we're looking up in the coastal ranges, probably up into the 40, 50, 60 mile per hour wind gust. You can see down here in Monterey County, we have this kind of orangish. This is like up in the 60, 70 mile per hour wind gust. That's probably going to be an isolated peak or two. And same out here in East Bay. See that little spot out there? Uh, Mount Hamilton's down there. It's probably in that same area. So some really strong gusty winds as this system comes through. Um, so be really careful with wind. It's uh, Wind is very dangerous, knocks down trees, into cars, into homes. Uh, and it kills a lot of people in our area, unfortunately. So be safe out there with the wind. As such, we do have a wind advisory in place. So that wind advisory is going to run through sun, from Sunday afternoon through Monday. So make sure that you're careful out there. And with that wind, uh, the Coast Guard, our friends out there at the Coast Guard, always want us to remind you, if you have a boat out at a dock, or if you have a boat anchored out someplace, make sure it is solid because if they see drifting boats out there, they have to allocate resources to go check on those boats to make sure that nobody's on them and that everybody's safe. So please tie up your boats. It helps to free up resources for other things. In the marine environment, we do have the high surf like we talked about yesterday. And so we issued a high surf advisory and that's gonna start early Monday morning and go through late Wednesday morning. And so we'll really peak in that Monday night into um, into Tuesday morning, that's gonna be our peak. We'll see breakers out at the coast, upwards of 20 feet, maybe up to 25 feet in some areas. So it's gonna be a big surf day, uh, especially on Tuesday as the winds calm down, as the rain tapers out. It's gonna look really nice out there, but it's very dangerous, very cold, and lots of currents. So last thing I wanted to touch on, our friends up at our Sacramento office, they put this graphic out earlier today, snowfall up in the Sierra. A lot of snow expected. They're talking Lassen up there in the uh, Northern Sierra, over a hundred inches of snow storm total. It's really impressive. Anywhere between really 50, 60, 70, 80 inches of snow falling up in the Sierra for this event. So most of all, um, 
Make sure that you take care of yourselves. Make sure that you take care of each other. Take care of your pets. And most of all, be good to each other. See you, everybody. Bye.